Hey guys, it's Lynn with Curiosity Crochet. I um, thought we'd do another quick video, something, another small project. I'm going to work it up with you guys so I don't have it to show here, but it'll be on the thumbnail, of course. Um, I wanted to do a quick dishcloth with you guys. Just an easy stitch, something we can work up quickly and then put a border on it. So... Uh, sorry about this. I, my yarn threw up all over the place, so it's kind of all over, but I'm going to use the neutral color for the actual dishcloth, and then I'm going to put the pink as the border, so I thought that would look really pretty. I'm using this Lighthouse Haven. I got this from Hirschner's. This was one of the clearance ones that I got um, in the, the video where I unboxed stuff. Now, this is an acrylic cotton blend. Now for dishcloths, you can use the blends because you're not, you know, you're just washing with them um, for the most part or wiping stuff down or whatever. But if you want to make this a little bit bigger and use it as like a hot pad or a pot holder or something, I would suggest 100% cotton because you know acrylic can melt and I wouldn't want you guys to have a big mess or give it as a gift and it'd be a big mess. So... Um, this one's actually a five weight and it recommends a six. So I'm just going to use the recommended. I'm using a six millimeter. Um, you can use whatever yarn you want to. Um, I just suggest using either a cotton blend or cotton because it just works out nicer for, um, dishcloths and stuff. It, it's the materials better. Plus if you are going to put anything hot on it or anything, it, it, acrylic has the tendency to melt with heat so any cotton yarn any cotton blend yarn and then we'll and just use the recommended size hook and we'll work it up together um I'm trying to think if there's anything I mean as always you need your scissors and stuff and your tapestry needle to sew in the ends sorry guys I'm trying to get this organized so that I can grab at it and it is just a hot mess over here um and y'all know I don't like editing so it's just gonna be me and my hot mess self but I you know with this quarantine I, I'm bored and keep trying to find things to to do and I like making these videos so I thought why not do something another small project and uh, dishcloth seemed the way to go and I came up I mean I didn't come up with this but I the pattern is a, an easy stitch so I think they call it the moss stitch it's super easy and I'm sure it's gonna work up real quick because when I tried it out on my small piece I it was I don't know really quick like 15 minutes and I had it done um but if you want, go ahead and get all your stuff put together. And actually, I'm going to get a little bit more settled. I'm going to pause for a minute and I'll meet you back. Okay, once you get all your stuff put together, we'll get going. I just want to take a minute to say, if you haven't already, or if you're new to my channel, please hit subscribe. That would be amazing. And if you could give my videos a share when you watch them, that would help out a whole lot to get me out there. Um, and at the end of the video, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. That would let me know I'm doing a good job. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a slip knot, of course. Make it however you make it. I always leave a tail when I do a slip knot so that I have something to sew in. and Because a lot of people will leave like this little piece. And I can't sew that in. It's too short. So I always leave myself something to work with. That's just something I do. Um, and then you're going to chain even numbers. Uh, it can be as long or as short as you want it to be. I, I'm i going to make uh, like a medium size one. I'm not going to make it too small, but I'm not going to make it too big. Um, I'm going to get my chains done and I'll meet you back. Okay, so I made 24 chains. Um, this yarn's a little bit on the thicker side, so if you're using a regular four weight uh, cotton or cotton blend, you might have to do 
a little bit more to make it a little wider but you can make it as wider as uh, sh sh wider or not as wide as you want um, but I did 24 and then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna work in the back bumps I tend to work in the back bumps a lot because it gives a cleaner edge um, you can work you know normal it's it's totally up to you you can go in this way and if you turn it there's a back bump that you can work into and it just leaves the impression of a single crochet now it doesn't really matter because uh, we're putting a border on it it just sometimes it's easier to work into this way too uh, but what we're gonna do is we are gonna skip the first chain and in the second we're gonna put a single crochet okay and then we're gonna chain one we're gonna skip one and we're gonna single crochet in the next we're gonna chain one we're gonna skip one and we're gonna single crochet in the next so that's what you're gonna repeat chain one skip one single crochet in the next and then you're just gonna repeat that all the way along your chain skip one work in the next just make sure you always get that chain one because that's where we're gonna be working um, for the for the rest of our pattern uh, skip one work in the next I'm just gonna go all the way down with you guys here why not right makes me feel like somebody's sitting here and crocheting with me if you're new to my channel I've said this before but I have two boys a husband my dad lives with us and I have two boy dogs so it is me against the men and that's why I like making these videos too is I feel like I'm sitting here with a bunch of women and we're just hanging out and crocheting so this is fun to me this is an escape and I I love that I have the subscribers that I have and I really appreciate you guys so when you get down to the end you should end on a single crochet and you're gonna chain one and you're gonna turn your work now like I said we're gonna be working in the chain one spaces so not in the stitch not in the single crochets but in the chain spaces that we created so you just kind of have to find them like you'll work in between the single crochets basically and you're just gonna put a single crochet in there and do your chain one jump to the next space single crochet chain one jump to the next space single crochet chain one and then you just do that in between each of your single crochets you'll see the space and you just go in there and do your single crochet and make sure you do your chain one and jump to the next now you could always do this in, in more than one color too uh, you could just switch colors every other row and um, get that effect I just didn't want to be switching back and forth while I was making a video because for this stitch like you're better off changing colors every row which means you have to detach and retach and it's just a lot for a video um or you could you you could do two rows of one color so that you come back and then you just keep it attached and bring up the next color i just think it looks a lot prettier when you do every other row because then you've got um these single crochets going over the other color so but it's totally up to you I want you to do whatever you want with this project make it your own but this will make for a real nice um, dishcloth and then when you come to the end you'll have one stitch left so make sure you still chain one and then you'll single crochet in that last stitch at the end okay and then you just chain one 
turn your work and now my yarn is getting stuck and then you start again you go into the in between into that chain space and now it'll be opposite of the one that you just did so it'll lay real pretty see oh I see I forgot to chain one you got to make sure you get that chain one or you'll have nowhere to work into so and don't be like me <laughs> remember your chain one <laughs> And then just find your in-between. And you just, you know, like you can see where the single crochets are here. So you just want to work in that space between them. That's where your chain one space is. And then chain one and move down. Now you can see they, they lay opposite. So it, it makes a very pretty fabric. Um, especially for something like this. It just adds a little bit of pizzazz. I'm just going to get to the end of this row with you guys. And then I'll let you go make your piece. And I'll make mine. And then we'll meet back up. So you just work your way all the way to the end. And then again you just single crochet in this last stitch here to end your row chain one and start again so that's what you're gonna do you're gonna work back and forth doing the same thing um and then just make it you know i usually make it try to make it into like a perfect square it doesn't always work out that way but um you just want it to be a nice square and then We'll meet back up and we will do, don't detach or anything because we're going to do the first row around in the same color and then we'll switch colors. So I will meet you back after I get my piece done. Okay guys, I worked mine up. Mine's pretty small. I didn't do it real big. It's just a little dishcloth. But look at how pretty this fabric turns out with this stitch. Even with just one color. That is just so cute. Um, but once you have yours worked up, then what we're going to do is we're just going to do one row of single crochet around all the edges in the same color first. So you're going to chain one and we are going to work down this side first. And you can go back right back in where you had that last stitch and then work your way down. You just evenly space them out. Find space spots to put it in and evenly work out a single the single crochet is down the side here I'm gonna go down this side with you till we get to the corner and I'll show you the corner and then you guys can get the rest of the sides done Now, mine was a five weight yarn, so it worked up really quick. Even with a four weight, it should work up quick. I did it in about 15 minutes. I had this square worked up. So this is something you can, you know, whip up a bunch. They're cute little gift ideas too, especially when you add a border and make them real pretty. I think that's great. I'm going to put one more here and then... In this corner stitch here, I'm going to put three single crochets so that it rounds out that corner and it doesn't stretch across. So three in that corner stitch. Now we skipped a chain here, so I'm just going to go into the space and then into the next stitch. I just wanted to show you that too. So I'm just going to go into the chain space. And do a single and then into the where the stitch is. Okay. So now you're going to go across. And when you get to this corner you'll put three. And then you'll come down here. When you get to this corner you'll put three. And I'll meet you back when, when we're coming around to, to this side here. I'll be back. I wanted to jump back on here. When you get to your top part. You want to make sure you put a single crochet in that, in that chain space too. 
So you put one in the stitch, oops, and then you put one in the chain space so that you it doesn't throw the it off because it'll stretch. It'll make it so that it stretches in a little bit. This fabric of this yarn is a little different than most cotton yarns. Or even cotton blends. Plus it's chunky, so. Now, when you come down here to the end here, um, you're going to want to put three. Here's where your first single is on this side. So you want to make sure you get three single crochets down here in this corner as well as just like the other corners. I'm having a hard time getting in here. And then you're just going to slip stitch to that first single crochet. So we went around, we put one more in this side stitch. This is the one from before, so you want to go into the next one there. Now, this fabric is making it go bow a little bit. but it, 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 They are even all the way around, but it's just sometimes the fabric is different. It looks kind of cool. But we're going to tie off here and bring in our other color. I like these small skeins of yarn because you use you can use them up making projects like this. Now I gotta try and get this. Okay, I'll meet you right back. Okay, sorry guys, I had to untangle my yarn. It got all messed up. But um, we're going to attach it right where we slip stitched at. Bring that new color in. Now I'm making this one just for myself. And I love pink. <laughs> so I am not a girly girl at all. But pink is just any shade of it. I love pink. <laughs> so I figured this would be kind of cool. So we're going to go right back in there and do a single crochet. And then we are going to chain two. One, two. We're going to skip one stitch and we're going to single crochet in the next. Now I did this same border on um, a, my last video with a bookmark. And it just adds a little bit of extra to the border it's nothing you know super special or anything it's just real cute and we're just gonna do the one row and then we'll be done so you're gonna chain two and you're gonna skip one and you're gonna single crochet in the next I figured since we were doing this as an easy project we would just keep it easy And just do a simple border to go with our simple, easy project. Now we're just working our way down the edge here. Now, we already made our corner, so, and it doesn't matter where this lands. This is one of those borders that it doesn't really matter. So, you're just going to continue around the same way you went down the sides. And it'll lay fine either way, no matter where it lands. And it's just going to go around. Mine happened to end on the very corner. It doesn't always happen that way. But it depends on how many rows you had, how many, you know, chains you made and stuff. 
So you're just going to work that around all the way around. A single crochet, chain two, single crochet, and just keep repeating that and come back around. And I'll meet you when we get back over on this side. Okay, I'm coming around here and I'm still going to do my skip one and chain two. And you want to work your way all the way around. Now, see how I don't have... I Well, I have one stitch left here. Now, if you have two stitches left, just chain two and skip the two. Well, if you have three stitches, you know, like, if you have two to skip and one to go into, just skip the two and, and go in. Because you don't want to put one right on top of the other. And it would just... It would just not, because this is still pretty much right on top of each other. And we're going to slip stitch into that first single crochet. Now, I think that is adorable. I think that turned out really pretty. I hope, I would love, actually, I would love to see what you guys, what colors you guys came up with or whatnot. Um, I have a group on Facebook under the same name, Curiosity Crochet. You can tie off here because we're done. And you can just sew in all your ends. Um, but I'd love for you to, to find my Facebook group. You can find the link at the top of my channel page. Because um, I'd love to see some of the stuff you guys are making along with me. And I'd love to see the color combinations you came up with for the dish cloth. I think that would be amazing. Um, even any of the other stuff you've made with me. I would love for you to join. I also am on Instagram. I post everything that I make on there. So if you ever see anything that you'd like to see in a video, you can comment on there and let me know. And I can always make a video for it. Um, and yeah, don't forget to subscribe, like I said in the beginning. And give me a thumbs up if you liked this. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys are staying safe and well. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.